Dr. AJ, I'm sitting down with uh, Mr. Scott, Robert Scott, who I've been seeing for now about three weeks or so. Yeah, three weeks. And tell me what happens uh, when you, what happened before you came to, what were you doing before you came to see me in terms of uh, your medical conditions, your blood pressure, your weight, your leg swelling? Tell me about it. Uh, just basically working through it, uh, working through the pain. Um, um, went to my doctor and they kept telling me it was just a weight situation, my weight, my weight, my weight. And my right leg was swollen, and I got tired of thinking that it was my weight. So I saw his uh, commercial on TV. I made a call. You think it's a commercial, or it's a it's an education? Well, I think it's more of an education thing for me because uh, um, not only do you offer the CPR, and um, but you, you let people know exactly what can go wrong or what's what's the symptoms and. And that's what I was listening for, and um, I got the phone number, made the call, came in, and it's almost not like a miracle, but hey, it's it's great. I've lost uh, what um, weight every day. I've been coming in here um, uh, almost thirty pounds in three weeks, and uh, my blood pressure's gone down. My blood sugar. What was your blood pressure when you came to see me? Oh, my, my, my blood pressure was, uh, I think it was a, a one, um, they were like 190 or 106, yeah, 110. Yeah. It was ready to, to be really honest, high, I was ready to yeah. have a stroke, yeah. which is very concerning in African American male. Yeah. And uh, yesterday, your blood pressure was 140 or yeah. 78. Yeah. And you're needing a lot of the medications, but yeah. I think I'm hoping that we will withdraw some of the medications as you, you know, lose weight as you control the salt, as you exercise. So tell us about uh, your exercise program. What happened with that? Oh, my exercise program, I, I um, started off walking. I, um, I got a membership, free membership, with the, the help of Dr. Shaw. Uh, at He's court going one, court one. Court one. Every day. Um, I go there every day. Uh, I, I go through a little ritual, stretching and um, and then I, I do at least a 20 minute walk, as um, much as I can stand it, and um, I work up a little bit of a sweat. <laughs> but uh, hey, it's, it's, it's been great. I've lost weight. Um, You're not eating any salt? No, no salt. How are um, your sugars running now? My sugars are still a little bit high. Um, well, we're trying to get, uh, control that. And what are you going to start? Now, you could not start some of the medications yeah, until I start today. That t today. Why not? Oh, because of money situations. You know? So, if, yeah, yeah. I've been listening to you. Yeah. Now, you, as I understand, you work full time. Yeah. And this, and despite of that, you can't even sometimes afford yeah. the cost of the medicine. Well, uh, you know, that and then some of the medicines, you know, and you, you think about it, you have insurance. And insurance, you, you think that they can cover some of it and you pay all this money out of your check to cover that insurance. But it doesn't cover the medicines that they, uh, the doctor prescribes you. Even if he, he gives you a generic brand, even the generic brands that don't even... So you have to come up with a cash up front, yeah, even for front. generic brand. Yeah. And that's sad in a way. I think uh, to me it's like really, uh, how do you say, penny-wise and dollar full. I mean they're trying yeah. to save some money on generic medicines but they don't realize that you know, I hope never, but if you get into stroke or heart attack, that's $50,000. Yeah. And they don't even pay $4 for generic. Yeah. It's really, the priorities are kind of in their own place. That's how I feel. Yeah, you know, I, I feel the same way. You know, I think that uh, you, you pay so much money on um, generic brands, and even the, the brand medicine is extraordinary high, you know, as it shocks you when you go up there and say, excuse me, <laughs> I have to pay this much? Like, whoa, it was like, you know, it's, it's terrible. Damn. Now the last thing, which is kind of uh, almost, uh, you know, almost like putting you on a spot here. Can you do mind telling what we are going through with your legs? Well, um, I, uh, my leg, my, my right leg was swollen, uh, really swollen. Almost two sides bigger than my left leg, and um, I was concerned. And I kept my doctor told me it was just my weight. I um, asked for a referral, and um, 
they told me didn't need a referral because it was just my way. I got mad. I called Dr. Shaw, made an appointment. He sat down and he told me exactly he, what he thought it was. And then from then that day forward, he prescribed medicine, uh, prescribed a routine for me to do. Um, so I say, like, I know this is significantly down here. This is, uh, how much down do you think? Uh, I think this has gone down at, at least. 30%? Yeah. And you can see. The skin starting to get wrinkled and, and wrinkled and less shiny and yeah I see it and you told me you could not wear your shoes and now you're right. able to wear your shoes yeah wear my shoes and um, this is you know to be frank with you when I met you first time mm -hmm. this was a lot bigger yeah, a and lot, it looked pretty angry too yes it doesn't look angry anymore not as it used to look really red really red and inflamed mm -hmm. and I am really really happy the way it looks today so and, and then uh, we're gonna go ask you to go and have this possibly expensive procedure or expensive uh, uh, treatment done. Remember right. that we talked about lymphedema and yeah. other things? Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, why not we do some things, like I always said, God gives you disease, God gives you cure. Right. So we thought, let's look into something natural way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So we figured out something, yes. and I think you spent about what, $5 yeah. per tarp? Oh, no, actually, um, this is actually a, a, a cold blanket. blanket. It's, a, it's, a, it's a blanket. Blanket. And, and I ask you, that every time you go to see a doctor, yeah. Every time you wait an hour to see a doctor, you're going to have your own routine, right? Right. So yeah. let's see the routine. Okay. And uh, I'll go see a patient and come back while, while she can record the routine. Okay. That'll be perfect. Yeah. Basically, all I do is just I sit my blanket off. Yeah. On the floor. Make sure that... And, uh, make sure my head's not in the way of the of the door or anything like that. And uh, I get down and prop my legs up, and basically uh, relax. And um, there's Dr. Shaw said this. Is, will help uh, with the edema that's in my leg, my leg being so swollen. It'll help the water and the blood pressure and come back down my leg. And actually, the, some of the swelling would actually go down. And uh, I do this until he comes back or until someone comes in and wants to take my blood pressure or uh, I see the doctor. 